Well, as you see her, is as I got her. McCullough 325 early uh, handle style that attaches to the shroud and currently not attached. And I don't know how they do attach, but um, as you see her, is as I got her. Um, their first one man design. This is the single button design right here. They had a two button at first early and everything, but I have done nothing. Not even try to crack the fuel cap anything. Uh, the engine does not appear to want to turn, but I don't know if it's just stuck from sitting or what we've got going on. And the spark plug is rusted up. Uh, I don't know if this old girl sat outside in the rain or... They just sat in a barn that long. I know nothing of her. It was part of that uh, haul that I got last week. So, well, over the weekend. And, uh, yeah. So, I guess uh, one way if we're going to tell if we can save her or not, and I don't know, is we're going to pull that, uh, we're going to pull the muffler off and take a look at the piston. And if the bore is pretty bad, I do take a look if it's bad but I do have a cylinder outside um, it just really depends on if what the other components look like is this thing flooded with water I could tell you looking through the spark plug hole here there was a mouse nest in it the shroud so we will have to attend to that uh, let's go ahead get that muffler off here and take a look at what's going on in there shall we all right i can see mouse doo-doo so it's been a lot of mice crawling over this so it was probably just sitting in a barn for all of its life um i've always had more luck with metrics fitting on these muffler bolts is that a little movement that has and then 7 16 has a lot more, and then I've, if you go down to the next two side, the next size down, they don't fit. So let's see what damage we can do here beyond what it's already got. And you can tell the tanks broke up here too. So pretty big wonder what's gonna happen with this old girl. Can it run? Or is she going to just... Okay, there's hope for one. Alright. Let's take a big moment. What's percentage? Uh, what what percentometer? Uh, I don't know. I, I give it a 20% a chance at this point. The second I see that piston is going to determine a lot. Get you guys down here for a good first look too. What's it look like I'm over here? Is it good? Bad? No, you guys can't see either. Ooh, looking pretty bleak. I don't like the looks of that either, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any uh saving this one that easily. That old girl has sat in a barn for quite a while. I don't know about even being able how to I mean there are ways of getting that to come off. I've heard of using grease and everything, grease and heat and stuff, but Finding a, a good piston is not going to be easy for one of these. I know there's one on eBay right now, but I don't know if it's worth the money putting into this old girl or just cleaning her up and setting her out. I figured this you know, be a good little video real quick to show. See if it was worth saving, but I don't know. That's hurting pretty bad. Despite how good that cylinder top looks, how the paint and everything, it looks like she was a good runner and she was put up and that was that. 
I know you can get grease gun inserts, and as long as the ports are still covered up, you can inject it through the spark plug, and those can apply a lot of pressure to push down on everything and whatnot. I mean, you can undo these bottom bolts here, and that could help push the cylinder up or whatever. As long as it moves, you got a good start, but... I don't know if she's going to be something worth trying to get to today. So, that might be a another future video, but I figured we'd, you know, it was piquing my curiosity for a while. I think this thing sat for probably 40 years in a barn. And unfortunately, moisture gets to everything at some point and causes the worst to happen. So. I might put some uh, penetrating oil down inside of her, down the uh, spark plug, and just let it sit, and we'll see what that does for it and everything, and hopefully we can probably try to save or have her come back to life, but I don't know about right now. I decided just to take her down and see what we could do. Hopefully it was just something light, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get them up. Let's, uh, get the muffler back on we'll pull that spark plug out and see what uh it looks like shall we Alrighty. that condition that spark plug tells you anything get the good old clickety clack on her That's not showing much hope either. That old girl had some moisture in her. Oh, oh, oh. See down in there, guys? Yeah. Thank old Bessie. It's hurting. So we'll get some penetrating oil. I wish I had a removable head, but some styles did have them early, early ones. I'm pretty good. But let's, uh... The reason I didn't spray the sides of the cylinder because I would with the exhaust is because I want to see if this actually penetrates down. I would like to see what I'm doing. Oops, watch you guys. Watch your heads. So we'll let that uh, soak in there for I don't know, quite a while and see what happens. We'll put the spark plug back in and we'll have to return to this, you know, in another month or so. Right now, with all this stuff going on in the world, I mean, even trying to order parts, who knows what's going to happen. My state, they're going to be announcing like some kind of travel ban or something like that. And uh, I got a roof to put on the garage this weekend because it's just going to rain all next week. So it's just one of those. I got to go buy an air compressor. Maybe you want to come help me uh, put a roof on a single car garage this week and you're welcome. I start tomorrow morning. So today's the last day of work for a week off. But I only work four days a week anyways. So. And we're having time off and not because of this thing going on, but because But because of supplier issues, that was stemming before it. So. About all we can do for this old girl. I don't want to make her lawn art. So it looks like it sat in a barn for quite a while and out of the weather because of the mouse nest and everything inside of her. So. I 
figured it'd be a cool little short video because I I don't know what I'm gonna be able to get to getting this for you guys this weekend. Like I say, tomorrow I gotta rip off a roof and everything. It's starting to rain outside. I've got some major severe storms about to hit and everything, so not much I can do for saws this weekend. Really would have liked to think that this thing could run again. It's it is a really good looking girl, but we'll just have to see what goes on with her and everything. So don't forget to remind me in another month or two when I I'm we're going through the loft and doing saws and everything. I still got more saws to sell and everything. And so if you're interested in anything that you saw in that pile, I've still got a a 200 and another one and stuff like that. And some other things for sale and and uh, don't forget and Mr. J, don't worry, I'll get to you on the uh, the muffler too for your uh, SP125 and everything. So I've just been caught up in all this uh, stuff going on. So done yammering here and everything for y'all and whatnot. So we'll get back to this all when the time comes and everything. I just figured it'd look pretty cool to show you guys and everything what the early style 325 looks like versus it full it wrapping around up here. So all right. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully. We can do some kind of life brought back into this. Uh, got a couple requested videos to do and everything, so I'll try to get to those this next coming week off and everything. So, lots of saw action and everything. So, all right. Then, thanks for watching.